All right, guys. Um, I decided to do a little bit of testing here on my batteries. Um, I took a 1500 watt inverter and these two, the the two batteries that are in the other video, and uh, put them the cables, these black cables here. Let me turn the other light on right quick so that y'all can see better. Um, these are like welding cables here. And uh, uh, those came with that when I got them. Uh, my buddy, they were sitting like this when I got them, um, when my friend gave them to me. So I just left those there. And uh, let's see here, I've run about eight hours so far off of them, and they are uh, low now. Um, a little, uh, oops. It says they're empty, and uh, check the voltage. And I'll tell you here in a second what I've been running. Let's see here, if I can do this one handed here. Alright, it's about 11.6. They're pretty close to being dead. Um, I, uh, and I'll take them back off here. Take the inverter off. But I was running this light here, which is a 23 watt, 100 volt equivalent energy saving light. Uh, charged up my phone last night. Ran that TV. Over there, it's just a little 9 watts, 75 watt. Uh, the receiver, direct TV receiver, I believe if I remember right, it said 23 watts maximum on the back of it. Uh, ran my computer, uh, which I think it, the charge was like 55 or 65 watts. Ran it for four and a half hours last night and ran all that today. Um, I, I've now got that plugged in over there on commercial power. But ran that, um, ran that for another four and a half hours today. So basically about nine hours. And it still, it still would run as long as I don't have the TV on. It'll actually still run. So I could run them deader, but uh, I'm not going to. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now. And I brought the uh, battery charger back up here so that I could uh, plug them in and uh, do that. So uh, everything seems to be going well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with, with what's what's actually happened. I'm going to use some extension cords and some power strips to... Uh, be able to plug multiple things in because that thing only has two plugins on it and there's a lot of times you're running stuff that you know is not going to max out that inverter but you don't have enough plugins so but uh, I was I was pretty happy with with what came out of it um, I was uh, very very happy um, so that just tells me that uh, a little bit of ingenuity and some brain power and um, good things can happen. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with what with what all with what everything with what I ran off of it last night and all that and uh, I will bring that 100 pound battery that's sitting downstairs I'm gonna bring that up uh, I'm gonna bring that up later on here probably in another few minutes and uh, run the inverter again and see what it see how long that runs off of that battery because this is total here about a hundred amp hours and that one downstairs is 150 amp hours so considerable amount considerable a little well a little bit more uh, more juice than what these have here so this should run for Probably a little bit longer, uh, but yeah, uh, I was I've been very very pleased with what everything with what it ran and all that. So next step will be whenever I can get some money. Um, first things first is get another job, and then I can save up some money, get some solar panels, and I talked to my parents about about it, and uh, they're pretty cool with it. Um, I demonstrated to my dad, uh, I'll, I'll have a whole other video on that, but I demonstrated to my dad one time um, what I could do. Uh, this is before I even had any any of the batteries that I have now. Okay, so I can't test it while it's like that, but um, well, I can set the camera down and do that while I'm still 
still yapping my trap but uh, so your one of the batteries is testing right now uh, 12 point1 volts and the other one is running 11 point8 so one of them is a little bit stronger than the other one is now this one here is the one that was running 11 point8 this one here is running 12 point2 so uh, this one's probably got more juice and I could probably run them a little bit deader than I have but uh, I hadn't exercised them since I got them other than jump starting my truck uh, so and jump starting the lawnmower a few times off of one of them so there you guys go that's just a little bit of what it can, what it can run um, you know don't don't hesitate to experiment uh, definitely don't hesitate to experiment it's quite interesting on what you can do with all this stuff so uh, it is a little bit costly uh, it's more than a generator would cost probably but most people have sunk into their solar systems uh, but I think it's quite a, um, I think it's better actually than running I think it's, it's actually better to me to run uh, to run solar power because it's quiet and in the uh, SH uh, IF situation um, I think it's better because it, you don't draw attention to yourself because you don't have that loud generator running and then when you run out of fuel you know you still have your solar backup um, I don't think I'll ever get a big enough battery bank and everything to run our well pump I'm going to take quite a bit of juice and uh, quite a quite a big battery bank and a big inverter to be able to run that I'm not sure I could get enough inverter power to be able to run that so uh, for, for the time being the generator will work so y'all have a good one uh, thanks for watching